Jing here. Welcome back to Blendly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. Before I get started, let me ask you all to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. I'm not even going to get into the whole, it's been a while since I uploaded this video because, yeah, we get it. It's been a while. <laughs> um, no excuses. It's just been a while. So, anyways... I'm going to jump right into today's video because I'm really, really, really excited about today's video. So, da -da -da. today I'm going to be reviewing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. Uh, this is their first liquid foundation and they sent me five different shades in my PR kit. And with the five shades of foundation, they also sent me all of their shades of the loose powder. So let me go ahead and get into the foundation first, and then I will talk about the, like, the powder. So this new foundation is 50 different shades. It's a natural finish. For those of you who are curious, it is a medium coverage. It is vegan, gluten-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, non-comeodenic, and suitable for sensitive skin. It is $38 and it is a whole fluid ounce and it is available August 4th. So these are the five shades they sent me and to be honest, I'm really, really happy they did not send me the whole shade range because I wouldn't wear half of those shades. So they only fit, sent me 50 different shades I think would fit. So we have 120W, 130N, 140N, 150W and 160C. I am leaning more towards the 130N, but I'm going to do a little bit of a test just to see which shade is my shade. So this is the bottle. I really, really love the minimalistic design of this. The foundation on the side really feels kind of pop arty to me. I'm really, really, really happy with the design. It has a pump, which I'm so happy it has a pump. There's a lot of liquid foundations that have these really beautiful bottles that don't have a pump, so you end up losing a lot of product. So let's go ahead and test this out. They also sent me this A30 Kabuki brush, which I'm going to use to test the foundation to see which shade. So we're going to do one little pump. Come on couple pumps so that took like five pumps to get it going so this is 130 in and I'm gonna buff this out right here so that is a little pale for me that was neutral let me try a warm tone so I'm gonna try 150 in I'm a little worried they might not have sent a good shade because I got kind of tan this summer because we were at the beach a lot, but we will see. So this is 150 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 pumps that time. Mm, that is not going to work either. So that was 150 in. I'm going to try 160C. Oh, that was 150 W. So this is 160 C. This is the darkest shade they sent me. I think they may have sent me a little too pale. Which makes me sad, but I'm just going to email them and let them know. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to use the 160C. So let me go ahead and apply it, and then I will let you guys know my thoughts on how it applies and all that. And if you are curious, the primer that I used for this is the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate uh, Primer. It is my favorite primer ever. So what I've been doing lately with my foundation is applying it with a brush and then going over it with a beauty blender. It gives it more of an airbrush look. So I just put a nice layer on, like slatting on paint on my face. <laughs> but I do like to use the brush more because I feel like you have more control over where the foundation goes and you have less chance of it messing up your eyebrows. 
because I am team eyebrows before foundation for life. This is actually applying beautifully. Like I am really, really impressed with how this is applying right now. It's not streaky, it's not leaving lines, it's really blending in nicely. So I only applied one pump. That is all I put on because I wanted to see how one layer looks. So I'm going to buff this out now. Oh my god. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this on camera. The coverage is really, really impressive. Like, I had a lot of, like, little spots on my chin, my cheeks, and this one pump of this foundation, like, this is all, and I haven't even used all of it, and it has covered quite a bit. So, it still has a little bit of a glow to it. It's not super, super matte, which I am okay with and happy with. It looks just like natural skin tone. I am loving this. So I'm already seeing some things I'm not too happy with. It is settling in the pores on my nose. I think you guys can see that on camera. Hopefully, I don't know if you'll be able to, but it's starting to settle into the pores on my nose. It's kind of caking up under my eyes already, and I don't even have much product on. So I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer, and I'm going to use my ColourPop concealer. This is the shade Light 01. Okay, so I am really not happy right now because while I was blending out underneath my eyelid, it started to get really cakey and, um, like, it's really, really not blending nicely all together. I'm hoping you guys can see this on the camera, but right here under my eyes, it's really, like, settling into my fine lines. It's not blending out nicely. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some powder and see if that maybe will help with the situation. So we're going to jump into the new powders. The shades that they, they sent me, I believe these are all the shades they're coming out with. So we have Deep Peach, which is almost like a light, light brown with some pink undertones. And then we have Golden Orange, which is an orangish brown. Banana, which is the yellow powder. Translucent, which is a clear white. And Vanilla, which is just like a very, very pale shade. I will probably end up using Vanilla and the Translucent. I'm going to use Translucent right now for under my eyes. And then I'm going to apply the... Um, vanilla all over my face. So this is it's really big. This has 25 grams and the powder I normally use is the Wonder Powder by Glossier and this one is only 7.2 grams. So you definitely get more bang for your buck. I'm not sure how much these are running for but I believe they come out on the same day. So this is the container and it has a little seal over the holes. Let me try to pull that open. And this is the powder. It's really, really soft, actually. So let's apply some of this just to set that powder. I'm hoping this will help with the cakiness that I'm feeling underneath my eyes. I'm going to put this on all the places where I sweat the most is where I'm putting this. So, And then we're also going to cut it a little bit. Put some here. So now that has baked, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. Okay, so I feel like I look really, really pale. The foundation on my nose is already starting to separate and um, get kind of weird. Not sure what's going on there. But looking up close, I feel like this foundation is very, very drying. Like, it says it was a do like a natural finish, but it feels more like a matte finish. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my skin, like the rest of my face. I'm going to apply my contour, bronzer, highlighter, blush, all that. Then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts, and yeah, so be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. 
I really do like how it looks once it's all set up and done and set and sprayed, everything I'm packed on top of it. However, I am a little worried under my eyes, around my nose, and right here my chin are going to separate and look weird by the end of the day. So I will check in with you guys on later tonight. It is currently 12.43 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and get going. I'm going to lunch with my mom and my aunts today and my grandma. So I'm going to go head out to lunch and do some chores and all that. Run around in the heat because it's going to be like 102. And then I will check in with you guys at the end of the day to let you guys know my final thoughts. So I'm also going to include some flash photography for you so you guys can see how the flashback is on this foundation. And I will see you guys at the very end of the day. Okay, so it is now 11.04 p.m. I've had my foundation on since about 12, 12.30ish. So it's been a full day looking at my face from a full day wear test. Being out and about, we went to my uncle's house where he's building a new house. We kind of helped him out there a little bit. We went grocery shopping, all that. And I feel like my foundation didn't hold up very well under my eyes are like completely creased deep into my under eye lines um right around the edges of my nose it completely broke away my nose is all separated right here and it's all separated you can still see some highlight which is impressive i will give it that i am kind of happy you can still see my highlight on my cheeks I don't really see much blush and I don't see much contour or bronzer left, but the highlight did stick. So yeah, out of all in all, I think I would probably give this foundation in 6 out of 10. I would not give it a full 10. I'm only going to give it a 6 because I feel like it does not last, does not have wearability last. It does it does photograph very very nicely if you look at the flash photos that I posted there's not much flashback if at all with any in on first application after your powder and do all your face and take a picture it really really does uh, photograph beautifully well I like how it photographs I'm not a big fan of how it wears at least not for my skin type I feel like maybe my skin is just too oily and I maybe just have too many lines and creases for it. It did not like my skin as much as I had hoped. I did not do any powder or anything throughout the day to touch it up. I just kind of let it bake and do its own thing. So for me, unfortunately, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Foundation is just going to be definitely going to be a 6 out of 10. I feel like it could be better. I'm not going to go lower than a 5 or 5 or lower because it does blend very good. It, everything blends into it nicely. I, I really had high hopes for this foundation. I'm kind of disappointed. I am going to continue to wear it just to see maybe more. I didn't, like I told you guys before in the video, I did not apply a lot of foundation. I really only applied one little pump on my hand and I didn't even use the whole pump. I just did a nice even layer because I don't like to like bake too much foundation on and then I did my concealer and powder over that it could have been the concealer that cracked because I did use the color pop concealer which I have issue which I might retry the foundation again using the Mega Revolution concealer instead to see if that makes any difference um if you guys are interested in seeing an update video at a month from now after I've tried out the foundation and different techniques let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions or comments about the foundation, please let me know as well. I'm going to go ahead and pop up a little bit closer so that you guys can see my face. I will warn you I'm tired. I know my eye, my eyeshadow looks like crap at this point. My eyebrows are melting and I'm just tired. So I'm going to get a little bit closer for you guys just so you can see how my face looks. And yeah. So if you guys like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. So I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers, and I will see you in the next video. Love you.
Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all caution to